guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video about self-love, positivity, advice, just basically all of my current life thoughts in a box of a video of it. However long this is, this is just my current thoughts and I just wanted to share them to the internet because I feel like my thoughts can help other people because I like to have positive and loving thoughts towards yourself and I want to put that impression on you because you should take some time to love yourself today. Please do. After you watch this video, while you're watching this video, stop it. Whatever you have to do, whatever time you have, take some time for you. Take some you time, girl, because you deserve it. Girl, guy, there you are. The first thing I want to give you guys is this, is that self-love, happiness, positivity, everything, every part of that is a journey. It's not going to come overnight. Um, it's something that you have to want. To really want it and parts of it can come overnight but the whole entire journey of it never stops and you always have to be working towards it and focusing on it I've put focus on it before I've come out of focus of it before I've had no, none of it before and it's just it's very important that you keep it on the back of your mind any stressful situation any negative situation anytime anything's hard or you're thinking or you're jealousy or any of those things this is when like self-love and positivity really come into play what I want to recommend is when you're starting this whole journey, for me, uh, when I started, you know, thinking more about positivity and self-love, it was more of an overnight thing, but obviously I've had to keep concentration of it over the years and I've built it up. I recommend to you guys is any self-love, self-help, creating a better you book. I am in the middle of this one, but I love this book so far. So you can get this book at, I got mine at Barnes & Noble, but I know they sell it a lot of places. I even saw that Francesca's. I really, really, really love this book, and I'm only a couple chapters in, and it's helped me so much. It's helped a lot of my friends um, who have read it, and becoming, you know, the best you possible, and just because becoming the best you possible, self-love, positivity, none of that is selfish. It honestly is better, like, my friends who, like, if I have a friend that starts loving themselves more or something, they become more fun. The person becomes, because they don't have jealousy problems, they're not insecure, they're just, they're much, people can be much nicer and honest whenever they truly love themselves and are secure with who they are. So yes, I really recommend this book. I also have really been loving this book. It's called Pretty Happy by Kate Hudson. It's all about healthy ways to like love your body and stuff. It has like exercises, being, you know, the different parts of who you are. So yes, I really recommend this book. Yes. Everything with a grain of salt, you know what your beliefs are. I'm not trying to push any of my thoughts or beliefs on anyone, but if my thoughts or beliefs help anyone, then that's great. So let's get into it. So the first thing I have is realize the one person you will always have, no matter what is you, no matter what people come in and out of your life, because people will come in and out of your life. You are the one person that you always have. No matter what, at the end of the day, when you go to bed, you have yourself. And so, once you can truly accept yourself and love yourself, you won't need somebody else to make you feel complete. And at the end of the day, once you realize that you love you and you have you, a lot of your stress and anxieties will go away because you realize whatever problems you have is not as big as you think it is. No problem is bigger than you. The next one is, if you want it, you can have it. You can be anyone you want to be. You can. Any dream that you have, I promise, you can t You can definitely reach it if you want to. Like, for instance, I'm a high schooler. So any job career goal that I have right now, I can accomplish if I put everything I want into it. Personally, for me, I want to have my own clothing store. And I know that I can accomplish that if I set my mind to it and if I work towards that and you can accomplish any dream that you have anything that you want you can get it it may take so much work so much you know take out loans you might have to do whatever but if you have a dream you need to go for it because your life is only so long not have regrets at the end of your life be like oh i'm in debt but i accomplished all my goals you will have much less regret than if you're like i have all this money i'm sitting on but i did nothing that i wanted because i wanted to live live it safe like, you wanted to have a safe job that was sound and you knew you would have at the end of the day and you wouldn't have any problems that wasn't what you really wanted to do, quit that. Go and do what you want to do because you have one life, that's it, and so don't waste it. But know your self-worth. You are worth so much. A human life is so valuable. It's the most valuable thing. 
And once you realize that, it'll open up so many doors. You work so hard to keep your body healthy, to stay alive. Being on this earth isn't always easy. And so you deserve to treat yourself. That is it. Do something for yourself every single day. Whether it's something small like listening to your favorite song before bed, like, or whether it's something huge like going on a huge shopping spree. Like whatever you want to do, do one thing for yourself every single day. No matter how much time you have, you're like, I need to get to bed now. If you haven't done anything for yourself that made you happy that day, do something that makes you happy because every day is worth something in the big picture and just do something that makes you happy. You are worth it, you deserve it. You go through so much every single day. The least you can do for yourself is to treat yourself. It goes along with the first one, but never let someone say you can't reach your goal. And the thing is, if somebody does say this, use it to boost you up. People have told me this before and just use it like to fire up your engine. That's a weird way to say it, but like use it to your advantage you know when someone says something that makes you really mad and then you just want to go prove them wrong use that in the situation prove this person wrong they say you can't have your own business you can't do this you can and now that they said that doesn't that just make you want to do it so much more because who doesn't want to prove somebody wrong today i love proving people wrong i think that if somebody says you can't do something that just gives you even more reason to do it because who doesn't want to show someone up like you said i will never have my own business and now i'm out here doing all this become like I'm such a bigger person than you think thought you were like you can do it you can do anything never let someone some never let someone tell you that you can't and if they do use it to fire you up so you can prove it to them prove them wrong so many people are like there's not one nice person around me I'm surrounded by mean people but if you can't find a nice person then be one because if you're surrounded by mean people, people they might think you're mean because they might think they're surrounded by mean people so if you can't find a nice person around you be the nice person find someone to be nice to do something nice today that makes sense not only is being nice to something for somebody else but it is something for yourself like doing something for somebody else that makes them happy, feels so good. Doesn't have to cost money, it can just be saying a compliment. I love to write people letters, like, like, why they're such a great person, that's it. This next one is like me. <laughs> this is like the biggest one that's me. Be your own best friend. Not saying you can't have other best friends, but be your own best friend. So if someone's saying anything about you, you're like, I got my own back. I got me. I have other things I can focus on right now. Be your own best friend. Spend so much time focusing on yourself. You don't have to worry about other people and just, you have yourself forever. So be your own best friend. Don't waste your time hating yourself. Love yourself. You have you always. And you are just, you are such a significant part of the universe that you deserve. You deserve to love yourself and to be your own best friend. And you deserve to feel that happiness. Be able to laugh at yourself. If somebody says something or something, just be able to laugh by yourself. It's very sometimes hard when somebody can't laugh at themselves because it feels like you always have to, you don't want someone to feel like they have to tiptoe around your feelings. Like, just be able to laugh at yourself. And you can really laugh at yourself when you have completely comp, like you're completely confident in who you are. Because if somebody says something, but you're completely confident in who you are, and then you can just find it funny instead of being like, oh, I actually am that. Like, I actually am this, sir. I actually am not a good person like no you already have these form thoughts about yourself so you can just laugh at whatever they have to say and take it lightly you can become a much funner person when you just love yourself and you be yourself and you just treat yourself if somebody this kind of goes along with one of my other ones if somebody isn't making you happy in your life kick them out if somebody's not if somebody is only making you sad and have bad thoughts not saying, if someone is sad, you need to be there for them, but to a certain extent, and you just need to always put yourself first, girl. If we all put ourselves, not, okay. I don't know if that sound wrong, because you should put others, like, for me, like, just saying, like, Jesus, others, you. Your faith is really important, but that's along aligned with yourself. It's putting yourself first by focusing on your faith. Others, you can not truly focus and help others until you love yourself. So all goes together. I'm not saying that nothing matters besides yourself, but you are very important. And a lot of people forget that they're important when you are so, so important. I'm going to say it like 20,000 times in this video. If someone wants to put a count below, you know, say whatever, but you're significant. You are amazing. Just impress yourself, not others. Get ready. Look good for yourself, not others, because they might have something to say about the way you look. But you know how you feel about how you look, so you'll be feeling good. 
and that's good. And impress yourself with the things you do, the successes you have, your grades. Do all that for yourself. Don't ever do it for somebody else because your your status of that person might change. You need to just do that for you. Do every do everything for you, honestly. That's nice. Some people fear alone time. They hate to be alone and do not fear alone time. Take that time to treat yourself in some way. A moment to be relaxed. Read a fantastic book. You know, whatever you want to do, but do not fear alone time personally. Um, it, it is a process of it, but for me, kind of always, alone time is my favorite time. Like, not that I don't like to be around other people. Being around other people can be fun, but at the end of the day, like, my favorite thing is to just be in my room by myself. Like, I love to be by myself, and you should too, because you are such a fun person to be around. Throughout grades, friends, school, boys, whatever, your mental health is more important than anything else. How you feel, if you need a U day, you know, whatever you need, take it. Because your mental health, your current state is so valid and important. You need to take that time for you. The next thing is to be you and stay true to you. Don't change for anybody else. And just don't do anything for popularity, guys friends whatever their opinions are do everything for you you need to have that self-confidence you know to be able to do what you want to do and to be who you are always remember that next thing you are here for a purpose you are not put on this earth for no reason you are here for a reason you have a life mission to accomplish and just never forget that you are here for a reason you have purpose you are not here by accident i promise 